he's getting married, and your face would be like, oh, he's getting married. You think back and you wonder, how did you get to here? From here. Oh my God. Ah. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? So I reflected over that and I decided to share my recap with you. Jasper was born in Sweden on a very cold winter day. One of those days where people take the skis to work. You can't see out the windows because all the frost is there. Polar bears are roaming the streets. It was cold like that. Then after a very short stop in Washington, D.C., we came to San Diego for work and we were there to stay. There was no way back. Especially Jas was very happy. Since uh, Jasper is the only child, and Lynn and I are both immigrants, and so we have no family close around us. It was always the three of us. It was our own little trinity. The Father, the Son, the Holy Mother. It was always the three of us. <laughs> we did everything together, and Jasper had a babysitter once in his entire life outside daycare. And then when he became a teenager, and uh, a lot of uh, parents only see the kids in and out the door, we were very lucky because he started to play volleyball and he needed us to drive him to all the games and tournaments. And even when he went to uh, Berkeley, he continued playing and we continued coming up there, did the nine hour drive, we didn't miss a single game. Probably there way more than Jasper wanted. <laughs> but that's what parents do, right? Then in second grade, he said, oh, I'm going to apply to this class in Moria, in French Polynesia. And then I was like, yes, we always wanted to go there. <laughs> Bora, Bora, here we come. Because parents have come visit the last week. The last week. Just very diligently call us twice a week. And, oh. and then it got longer, longer between each phone call. <laughs> The Wi-Fi got worse and worse. <laughs> oh. So then I'm like, oh, Classic. what is going on here? So since I stalked, I mean, I follow Jasper <laughs> on social media, I went to check out all the pictures where he had been tagged. And what does I see here? Who? Oh. He's creeping closer and closer to. They are like next to each other. <laughs> and this? Oh my! Something is up. And then yes, one day came the phone call. Like, I remember so well. You said, "Oh, I have sort of started dating someone here." And then I was like, "No, really? <laughs> oh, how fun! So we get to see you then when we come over in the last week." And just like about that. <laughs> we saw a student, we saw I was going to travel around together that last week, and so, oh, oh, so we're not coming then? Nah, probably not. <laughs> so that was the end of my world of And uh, then of course I found out that there was no group of students traveling around. <laughs> this was their pre-honeymoon. <laughs> And it could be summed up like this. That was awesome. Thank you. And everyone who knows Jasper and Liz, because I know what you do here, knows that they are adventurists. They take every chance they can to go do something, travel somewhere, go look at some bird, go dive, uh, go camping. They have a great life ahead of them. And we love you. And thank you, Bovils, for loving Jasper. And we are very much looking forward to many fun events together in the future. We Bora, 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 Jasper's grandparents, who would have loved to be here, but they have sadly ventured to the other side of the rainbow. But they loved you, and they would have loved you, Liz. And Liz, I know that you also have 
grandparents that passed away, and they're here with us in our hearts today, tomorrow. And hooray for Jasper and Lisa for a wonderful day tomorrow. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put on some a little slide.